All right, guys, today we are going to be talking about what is my favorite EDC knife brand so far, at least now that we are just over halfway through the year. And I have a few runner ups before I jump straight into my favorite brand. And so I thought I would give these couple brands a little bit of airtime, you know, give them just a, their 15 seconds of fame, so to speak, because they are genuinely worth talking about. And the first one, if you can't already tell, is TRM or Three River Manufacturing. These guys are not only a really cool company to work with and just overall supporters of the channel, but they do manufacture some really cool products. Now, unfortunately, Unfortunately, TRM products can be hard to get your hands on, but trust me, it is in the long run definitely worth waiting it out and getting something like a TRM Shadow, a TRM Neutron, or a TRM Atom, or they have an upcoming fixed blade as well that they are working on. So if folders aren't quite your EDC, you know, um, idea or ideal, they do have you covered. They are releasing a fixed blade as well. So they have plenty of options to choose from when it comes to blades and knives. And the nice thing is they are all consistent consistently made out of CPM 20 CV. They have fantastic actions and really are just well put together knives. This thing is usually very drop shut. It is just making a liar out of me right now, but it is an incredibly smooth blade. Of course, the TRM Shadow is as well. And the, one of the best things, at least in my opinion, about many of TRM's products is the fact that they use a very thin stock CPM 20 CV. So pretty much anything you pick up from them, old or new, um, is going to be super slicey, super performance oriented. And of course there are little modifications you can do like both of mine are wearing or sporting these um, O-rings on the thumb studs to help give them a little bit more traction, help you flick them out a little bit easier. But either way, they are really fantastic products. And I definitely love all of the TRM um, knives that I've handled so far and owned. And like I said, they are super, super slicey. Like these are true Truthfully, some of the best EDC knife focused uh, or EDC focused knives you can get. So definitely worth checking out. All right, so that was the first runner up. The second runner up for me is Chris Reeve Knives. I feel like I talk about them in almost too many videos, but truthfully speaking, um, Chris Reeve Knives are pretty fantastic. Now these two are the Inkosi and the Umnumzon, but whether you choose an Umnumzon, a Sebenza, an Inkosi, um, or one of their other designs, they are once again really knocking it out of the park. And honestly, like I said, like some some of my favorite slash most EDC knives. These genuinely find their way into my pocket quite a bit, especially the Omnimzon. Uh, I definitely wanted an wanted in Omnimzon for a while, and I wasn't actually expecting to like it quite as much as I do, but it has really grown on me. And in fact, when I was down here in uh, Anchorage before I moved all my knives down, it was one of the knives where I was like, darn, I really wish I had my Omnimzon at a few times because it's just a really well-balanced workhorse of a blade, and I really do like having it. So these two are, or not just these two, but Chris Reeve Knives as a whole is really cool, and and I definitely enjoy slash love EDCing their knives. So once again, they do have to make it as a runner up because they are just really EDC pocket friendly blades that I love carrying. Now on to the main meat and potatoes of the video. The reason we're all really here, right? And we are talking about the fate, my favorite brand, for this year as far as EDC knives are concerned. And it is probably actually by surprise. I don't think anyone would see it coming. Maybe a few people because I know I like to show off my Emerson's quite a bit, but Emerson is in fact going to be the actual winner, so to speak, of at least for now in the 2023, my favorite EDC knife brand. I really do dig just about every knife I've handled from Emerson. And Emerson is one of those 
those brands where I'm going to be up front and say, you know, you do have to, um, you know, understand what Emerson is. And I feel like if you don't, then, you know, these knives will be lost on you and you may not like Emerson or you may have a poor viewpoint of them because, you know, you have to take Emerson as their own kind of unique knife brand. Like if you try to hold them up to the standard of, you know, say a more traditional knife, like a tactile turn um, blade, you know, or something that's, you know, like a newer knife company that's trying to, you know, just make a really solid knife. Something like this, um, you know, something along the lines of like what Tactile Knife Co. is trying to do, or, you know, say you hold up to like a ProTech or something like that. Like, obviously, you know, Emerson is going to look different, feel different, act different, and they are still knives. They are still designed to cut things, but if you are trying to compare them, um, you may be disappointed by Emerson because these are different knives. As you can see, these are all, of course, chisel ground, and so therefore, you know, they have like a bevel on this side, but no bevel on this side, and so you will see that with them. And also, these are designed to be, you know, a bit more workhorse oriented so you know these are you know kind of no frills blades like you're not seeing any fancy colors you're not seeing any you know wild um you know decorations or anything on these knives they're all very you know almost plain jane um styled blades however like i said they are workhorses and they feel great in the hand they offer a good amount of performance and in my opinion too one of the things that i actually really enjoy about a lot of the emersons so far that are in my collection is the fact that they are recurves i feel like a lot of knife companies um, are avoiding recurves or not really you know making recurves anymore and i feel like emerson's over here just cranking out different recurve blades so i really like it i really appreciate it and um, my two newest additions have been the Emerson Patriot, which is this guy right here. And of course, I added a full-sized Emerson Commander to my collection as well. So I had the Minicom, had the Minicom and the Horseman or the Mini CQC8, this guy over here since uh, last November. But I have recently added these two to the collection, the Commander and the Patriot. And of course I have my good old Ensar and I've had that one for a little while now as well. But like I was saying, ultimately uh, my Emerson see a lot of pocket time and a lot of carry. And that's primarily because I think they're quirky. I think they're cool and once again you know I, i'm really a fan of these um you know deeply recurved blades or even not so deeply i feel like the patriot isn't the most deeply recurved but i love how it has a nice buoy clip uh like clip point on it and it like it blends this clip point with a um recurve on it and it just looks so cool i love that blade shape and uh yeah the handle is also ridiculously comfortable to hold on to and unfortunately i don't think that they're making the patriot at this moment i can't remember if it's been like discontinued proper but i don't believe that they are making the patriot any longer unfortunately but it is an awesome knife and i really do enjoy Emerson as a whole. So Emerson is my number one um, most carried or favorite, I should say, EDC brand of the year. Whether it's me carrying something like, you know, a Mini Com or me carrying something like a Patriot or a Mini Horseman, or sorry, Mini CQC8, um, or even the full size Commander. The Commander's a really cool blade. I love how deeply recurved that blade is, and it's just so nice. It's almost like a Kukri esque styled blade shape to it. It's just freaking awesome. So, anyways, these are definitely, like I said, very utilitarian and very workhorsey and you know not everyone likes um, Emerson because they still you know are making blades in 154 cm same steel they've been using literally since they started making blades and so like my oldest Emerson here from 2009 to you know my brand new or newest Emerson's still 154 cm but I kind of like that magic about Emerson because I feel like in the knife community as a whole it is not always a bad thing but definitely like you know you see a lot of companies chasing the newest steels like you know releasing knives in magna cut and trying to just rapidly adapt and change and here's emerson they're almost kind of like a um a time like vault or stuck in time kind of company where the same knives that they made you know 10 15 years ago 
are the same knives that they're making to this day. So if you buy, you know, a new Minicom, it's going to be very similar. Not exact to this because they have changed up their markings, like even between, I'll show this Patriot, because I think the Patriot's a little bit newer, but uh, you'll see that there's no um, birth date on these. So the older Emersons used to have their birth date right there in the middle. As you can see there, it says 2009. These do not have that any longer. They have omitted the birth dates um, on them. But yeah, you can see too that these are also pretty darn, um, or at least my newer ones here, are pretty darn low serial numbers. This one's a 410, just double checking me there. And so that is pretty freaking crazy. So pretty low, pretty low numbers on these guys. But overall, um, yeah, pretty crazy, pretty cool knives. And uh, definitely, definitely worth Definitely worth checking out and picking up an Emerson yourself. Even if you only end up owning one Emerson, my kind of Emerson collection has grown. Uh, I initially honestly started off um, last year when I wanted to get an Emerson. I started off with the idea of just buying one single Emerson. I ended up buying two for one price and then you know added the NSAR, then added the uh, Commander, then added the Patriot. So I, I intended to really only ever just own one Emerson, but I really honestly like their style quite a bit. And personally, like I said, I think they're kind of an unsung hero in the knife world and they really do see a lot of use. They're very practical blades and I really like that about them. Anyways, guys, that has been my rundown on my favorite EDC knife brands of the year. As always, guys, God bless and I'm out.